welcome. Share, share, share.
God bless you, Apostle Belfair. Bless you, sir. Welcome. God bless you, Sister Joyce. Welcome to Wings of an Eagle Worship Hour. I am your host, Apostle Designate Darrell Towns. Amen. We bless God for being with you this evening. I tell you, I'm just praising God for his goodness and his mercy. And that I'm still above ground and not underground. Amen. I praise God today. I'm, I, I'm giving God glory for what the Lord has done and how God is doing. God bless you, Sister Nicole Jackson. Amen. We thank God for what the Lord is doing in my life and in this ministry. Amen. We praise God for each and every one of you that has joined us today. Hallelujah. And we thank God. For each and every one of you, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just give me one second. Let me. Yeah. There we go. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you today. Amen. Amen. We want to let you know to meet us here on Thursday nights for our clarion prayer call. Wings of Eagle clarion prayer call. Right here on Facebook Live, we also have our dial-in number where you can dial in for prayer on Thursday nights. Amen. Amen. We're praying that God will send us some helpers and that we'll man the line while I'm on, while I'm in prayer live. Amen. But in any event, the prayer line is still open for those who want to dial in that's not used to live or don't know how to get on live. We do have a dial-in number where you can dial in and be a part of the clarion prayer call on Thursday night. I'm telling you, it is an outpour on Thursday night. God moves on this Thursday night live in prayer. We don't preach, we don't teach, we go to God in prayer. We bombard heaven. We knock on heaven's door. We bang on heaven's door. Amen. We, we, we bend the ear of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're to so meet us here on Thursday, right here at Facebook Live. For the Wings of an Eagle Clarion Prayer Call at 7.30 p.m. Amen. Right here on Facebook Live. Amen. Then I want to make a very special announcement. Amen. Um, but before I do that, well, yeah, let me make this announcement first. Coming real soon. Coming real soon is a special Facebook Live. Wings of an Eagle special Facebook Live is coming real soon. Amen. And I'm going to be teaching and talking of the subject, what does the bylaws say? Amen. Some have seen the post already. Amen. I'm going to be talking from that subject, what does the bylaws say? Now, if you want to know what it's all about, when you see the post or the date and time, you meet me here on Facebook Live. Amen. You meet me here on Facebook Live. I'm waiting on God to release me and let me know exactly when to do it. But I'm going to be teaching and talking about what does the bylaws say. Amen. Y'all want to know what that's all about? You got to be on that live. You got to be on that live. Amen. You got to be on that live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got to be on that live. Amen. We're going to be teaching on that subject. What does the bylaws say? Amen. Amen. God has given me... God has given me something and he has placed something in my spirit. And I want to share this with basically leadership. Amen. Basically for preachers, for, for pastors, for apostles, for prophets. I want to share this with you. If you are aspiring or desire to pastor and to start a ministry, you need to join me on that live. You need to join me on that live. What does the bylaw say? I'm going to be sharing some information. I'm going to be sharing some things as I'm presently compiling it and getting it all together. I'm going to be sharing some things. And I'm telling you, you're going to need to be in on this live 
I dare to call it seminar, but you're going to need to be on this, this, this live workshop. Let me say it that way. You need to be on this workshop. This live. It's Facebook live workshop. You need to be in on this. If you're a pastor, you're a leader, you have any leadership abilities in your church, if you're a pastor, a prophet, evangelist, a bishop, whatever your title that you hold in your ministry, you need to be on this live. If you are desiring and aspiring to be a leader, to be a minister of the gospel, to start a church or a ministry, you need to be on this live. God bless you, Elder Tracy Beeman. You need to be on this live. What does the bylaw say? Amen. I'm going to share some information. Amen. I'm, uh, and the date and time is going. It's coming real soon now. I'm going to post the date and time real soon. Amen. But you need to share this. Let somebody know. Amen. Share the fly that's already been posted. Let somebody know. You need to join Bishop. You need to. You need to join Apostle Designate on that live. What does the bylaw say? Amen. We're going to be teaching and preaching that. Well, not preaching. Hopefully, we won't be preaching. But we're going to try to teach it and share some information with you. Amen. Because I, one, of the, one of my biggest things is we as leaders have got to stop being stupid. And that's my, that's my favorite word right now. We got to stop being stupid. And we need to know what the bylaws say. We need to know how to compile our bylaws so that we're not tied up and bound up under the guidelines of the law and the Constitution of the United States. So we, I'm going to be sharing some things. You need to be on this live. If you know somebody that needs to be in this live to get this information, join me. And I'm going, I'm going to give out, I'm going to be soon posting time and uh, date time. I'll soon be posting it. Amen. What does the bylaws say? Amen. So we praise God today. And I think that's the only two announcements that I have. Um, yes, let me just say this. And this is just briefly, with more details forthcoming. Uh, the Victoria International Fellowship. And I'm glad uh, uh, Apostle Belfield is on, and I'm glad my Chief Apostle is on, and my Vice Chief Apostle is on. Victoria International Fellowship, amen, in the month of October. Coming up in October is our Holy Convocation. Did y'all catch the word holy? H-O-L-Y, Holy Convocation, amen, in October. Amen. We're going to, uh, it'll be in Aiken, South Carolina. Amen. I believe Apostle Bob Dondell, our Chief Vice Apostle Dondell Belfield is one of the preachers. Amen. And I believe our Chief Apostle will be closing out. There's a workshop in the morning, uh, the first night, I believe, and our, our, our National Mother will be teaching that workshop, I believe, on fasting. Amen. If you can get to Aiken, South Carolina, once I post a location, in time of and everything you can get to Aiken, I encourage you get to Aiken, South Carolina, and be a part of the Victoria International Fellowship. If you're looking for covering, this will be the opportune time to see what we're all about and see how we function. Amen. We are Pentecostal in experience, but apostolic in doctrine. Can I say that again? We are Pentecostal in experience, but apostolic in a, in doctrine. So you need to get there. Amen. If, you, if you're looking for a covering, you're looking for a ministry to cover you, you need to come on and be a part of Victoria. Come on and be a part of our convocation in October in Aiken, South Carolina. Headquarters state and town and city. Aiken, South Carolina is where headquarters is. Come on and be a part of us. Join us on our convocation. See what we're all about. And if God speaks to your heart, Amen. You can always contact me by way of messenger. Amen. And I will give you the information that you need to have to be a part of the Victoria International Fellowship. Amen. I'm telling you, you can't find a greater or better fellowship than Victoria. And I'm yes, I have a, I'm biased. Amen. But you cannot find a greater or better fellowship than Victoria International Fellowship. I'm telling you, we have our chief apostle is an awesome man. Spirit-filled, Holy Ghost, tongue-talking, fire-baptized, pastor, preacher, apostle. You can't find a better leader. Our vice apostle, well, he ain't, he ain't no joke either. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. We have, I, have, I have some great, great leaders, and I thank God for my leaders. Amen. I praise God for my leaders. When I go to them, amen, looking for leadership, 
they're right there to let me know which direction to go and what I should do. I'm not above leadership. I'm not above le- learning. And I'm sure not above listening. Amen. So we thank God for the leadership of Victoria. Amen. Founded by our late chief apostle, Apostle Larry Earl Boston. is the founder, our, our late chief apostle. Amen. We thank God. So come on and be a part of us. Come on and join us. Amen. Along with our chief apostle, Apostle Billy M. Perry, and our vice Vice Apostle, Apostle Dundell Belfield. Come on and join us and have a, we're going to have a great time in the Lord now. Uh, let me forewarn you, we are a dance in Reformation. We love to dance. We love to worship. We love to dance before the Lord. So, amen. We have a bunch of dancing bishops and apostles that are a part of us. We dance. We ain't too proud to dance. So we don't slide. We don't slip and slide. We do some dancing. And we pick them up and put them down. So come on and join us and be a part of of our holy convocation in October. Amen. In October. Amen. Um, also, I will more information will be forthcoming. Amen. Um, as we as our chief apostle along with our vice plans it. Amen. Will forthcoming as you well see. Amen. God has elevated me to another level. Amen. And I, I thank God and I'm appreciative of my leaders. Amen. Uh, the forthcoming uh, will be the elevation and uh, affirmation, amen, of me as of, of, of myself as an apostle in the Lord's church, amen. And I thank God for the elevation, and that information will be forthcoming, amen. We will have that information available when, where, and how, amen. But it is forthcoming, amen. And I thank God. Amen. For each and every one of you. God bless you, Tawana. Welcome. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. I think I've covered um, what I need to cover. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and then we're going to the Word of God. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight for the Word. We thank you tonight, God, for your precious Spirit. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. God, I ask that you would allow me to decrease and you increase. I bind the enemy and I come against everything that may try to hinder this word tonight. God, I thank you for a a fresh anointing as I deliver the word. God, I give you praise that somebody, God, will be encouraged, somebody will be uplifted, and somebody will be directed. And God, I give you the praise, I give you the glory, and I give you the honor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I bless you and I praise you. In Jesus' name. We declare and we decree it so. It is so. Amen. 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 Thank you, Minister McCaskill. Elder McCaskill, thank you so much. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Amen. We praise God. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, let me get let me get to the word. Because I feel a strange anointing on me tonight. I feel a strange anointing. So I suggest you just hold on. Because I feel a strange anointing in my spirit. Oh, my Savior. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Ah, yeah, God. Hallelujah. I feel a strange anointing tonight. Bless the name of God. Isaiah chapter 28. Isaiah chapter 28. I want to deal with the subject just for a moment few minutes tonight. Amen. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to, to hold my mule, but I feel a strange anointing tonight. Isaiah chapter 28. I want to talk from the subject tonight. I need an upgrade. I need a upgrade. Glory be to God. Isaiah 28 verse 10. Amen. Isaiah 28 verse 10 says, for precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. And I'm going to go over to Isaiah uh, chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 60. Verse uh, 17. It says, instead of bronze, and this is where I'm going to be lingering at that tonight. I'm going to labor just a little while here. Uh, instead of bronze, I will bring gold. 
uh, instead of iron, I will bring silver. Instead of wood, bronze. Instead of stone, iron. I will make your officers peace. I will make your officers peace and your magistrate righteousness. Going back to the first part of that verse, instead of bronze, I will bring gold. Sounds like an upgrade to me. Instead of iron, I will bring silver. Instead of wood, bronze, and instead of stone, iron. I need an upgrade. Saints of God, we're living in the age and time of the computer. And the, I don't know about those who are viewing, but I know my computer is set to automatic upgrade. What does that mean? That means that my software, in order for my computer to continue to run on, on, on top-notch speed as to what it's supposed to, it must upgrade itself. Uh, and we're living in an age now where folk don't want to be upgraded. And right now, saints of God, we're in, as we've gone through this pandemic, as we've gone through this uh, uh, movement of this demon, uh, we find preachers and pastors have found themselves having to do things that they thought they would never have to do. Some were never used to it. Some were never, some, some didn't know what they were doing and they were learning and uh, tried through trial and error because they refused to upgrade. Mm. So, 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 so we as, so, so whatever we have and whatever we are in life, God desires to upgrade us. God does not want us to stay in the same place. It's time for some of us to move to the next level. Oh, bless the name of God. I'm so glad that my officials didn't saw something in me and thought it not robbery to upgrade me. Oh, bless the name of God. And that I had a desire to accept the upgrade. Ah, I feel, I feel, I feel something. I feel something happening. How ah, bless the name of God. So, 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 so. God wants to upgrade us, but one of the problems with us as people of color, if you'll let me say it that way, uh, is that we want to stay in the same spot. We want to stay in the same era. We don't want to move because of tradition. Mm. We don't want to move because of tradition. We don't want to be upgraded because we've been doing it this way ever since grandma was alive. Well, I'm here to let you know that God is moving uh, in a new direction. Uh, the Bible declared uh, in, 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 in Isaiah said, the prophet Isaiah said, uh, that it said, I will do a new thing. And when thou do it, you'll know it. God is doing something new in this hour. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm ready. God bless you, Elder Desnick Stone. I'm ready for this upgrade. Oh, uh, bless the name of God. I'm trying, I'm trying to hold my mule, but I feel anointing on me right about now. This upgrade is not automatic. It's according to our faith. Your upgrade is according to your faith. Will you dare to believe God? For the Bible declared, works without faith is dead. And that which is not of faith is sin. So this upgrade that I'm talking about this evening, beloved, is and it will come by faith. Oh, bless the name of God. The devil is a liar right now. Uh, this upgrade is not automatic. It's not something that will happen overnight. We know we got some folk that go to bed a blunder and wake up a wonder. They have not been upgraded. Oh, bless the name of God. They have not gone through something. They have not gone through some trials and errors. Let me drop this footnote, if you will. In order, when you are going towards an upgrade, you got to go through something. 
I said something just then. Uh, you got to go through something. You just can't get to a place uh, without going through something. Uh, you can't get from New Jersey to Georgia without going through something. If you're going to fly by plane, I'm here to tell you from experience. Uh, you go through something just to get on the plane. Uh, bless the name of God. You go, you got to practically strip down and take off your shoes and take off your jacket and take off whatever jewelry you have. And you got to walk through, oh, bless the name. You got to walk through, oh, bless the name. You got to walk through this uh, uh, thing that spins around you, checking to see. You got to go through something. You got to stand on a long line sometimes. And you got to go through something in order to approach and aboard that plane. So you go in the bed of blunder, waking up a wonder. I'm here to let you know it don't work in the kingdom. Ah, bless the name of God. And that's why so many folk, hallelujah, that's why so many folk, uh, I mean, uh, uh, so many people, their ministry uh, does not get off the ground. Um, that's why so many people's uh, ministries does not blossom and bloom. Uh, that's why so many ministries does not have the fruit bearing on the tree because they've gone from a blunder to a wonder and they haven't gone through anything to be upgraded properly. I'm not a computer wisdom, but whiz, but I, one thing I do know, um, if you don't upgrade the system properly, it will not upgrade. It will not catch on to that upgrade. The, the, see, what has to happen on that system is um, you've got to upgrade the software. You got to upgrade the software. And when you upgrade the software, the, 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 the computer begins to run a, a little more quicker. Have you ever noticed, uh, you computer wizards out there, that when you don't do the upgrade, that that computer seems to run a little sluggish and it seems like it's not doing what it's supposed to do and the windows are not opening as quickly as they're supposed to open them. And then all of a sudden, you, you get a flat on the screen and the flash says upgrade needed him and then you gotta go down go in there and uh, hit that button that says upgrade him I'm here to let you know you gotta hit the button of faith um, to upgrade yourself mm. ah hallelujah I'm trying my best uh, you gotta up hit that hit that button of faith uh, to upgrade yourself uh, to bring yourself to another level in God um, and while you upgrading yourself uh, you're going through something uh, there's some adjustments that are going on in the system uh, there's some things that are happening in the system uh, and if you realize something when you hit that upgrade button uh, the, the, there's a message that hits the screen that says it'll take a few minutes um, you get a few blinks and you get a few uh, uh, the computer will go off and come back on. It's letting you know I'm upgrading. I'm, I'm taking out that old stuff. I'm, I'm getting rid of that old man. I'm breaking down all that flesh. I'm getting rid of all that old stuff. And I'm getting ready to upgrade you. Mm. Oh, bless his name. So, 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 this upgrade is not automatic. It's according to our faith. Uh, if we were so satisfied uh, in having the bare minimum, uh, God will honor our desire and provide just that. Um, if we're satisfied with where we are, um, if we're satisfied in the place that we are, um, God will honor our satisfaction. Um, but I'm here to let you know tonight, um, I'm not satisfied. I'm looking for God for more. Um, I'm looking for the next level. Um, I'm looking for the next level level. I'm, I'm trying to climb Jacob's ladder. I'm, I'm trying to get to the next place in God. I'm trying to get to that upgrade. I'm, but if you are satisfied I'm, with blessed quietness, if you are satisfied I'm, with pass me not all gentle savior, I'm, then you can stay right there. But I'm not satisfied there. I want to get to the place where I can say I'm, I will bless the Lord at all time I'm, and his praise shall continually be in 
my mouth. Um, can I preach a while? Um, it says, uh, so, so, but if we want to the best that God has for us, um, if we want the best that God has to offer us, um, and if we desire to be upscaled and upgraded, um, I want you to know that God uh, will give us the best. Um, God will release the best to us. Um, we, 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 we continually are, uh, we, 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 sometimes we continually are on our job is to believe for that upgrade. Um, we got to trust God that he will upgrade us. Um, we got to trust God that he will take us to the next level. Um, we got to trust God that he will do a new thing. Uh, and when that new thing's happen, I will not know, might not even know when it hit. Um, but that new thing is going to happen. See, when you got your computer, when you have your computer on automatic upgrade, um, sometimes it'll upgrade in the midnight hour. And you don't even realize that the computer upgraded. Mm. Sometimes an upgrade while we're at work and don't even realize during the day the system is upgrading itself. But see, that's that automatic um, upgrade. Oh, bless the name of God. We've got to, we got to, we got to believe for that upgrade. And, and, and believe God is true to his word. For God's not a liar that he should, he's not a man that he should lie. We got to believe that God is true to his word and that God, what God said, he'll do. And what God will do, he'll say it. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we may not see how this upgrade is happening. We, not, we may not know how it's going to occur. Uh, uh, but, we're, but, we're, but, we are, but, but where but we're, we are current in life. Um, but, but, our job, but our job is not to figure it out, but to relieve for manifestation in due time. Our job is not to figure out how God's going to upgrade us. Our job is not to think about, well, God, maybe you're going to do it this way. Maybe you're going to do it that way. But our God, our job is to believe for the manifestation. Our job is to believe that God will upgrade us and God will take us to the next level. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I know God's going to take me there. I don't know how I'm going to arrive there, but I know how I'm going to, but I know that God is going to take me there. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, Jesus has made upgrade possible for all of us if we believe. If we believe it, we can receive it. Um, he's made the upgrade possible. And the upgrade was made possible through Jesus Christ. Um, if you dare to accept Christ, um, if you dare to believe that God is your upgrade, um, yeah, if you dare to believe that Jesus is the Son of the living God, um, if you dare to believe that He shed His blood, um, if you dare to believe that He gave His life, um, the upgrade is there for you. Um, if you dare to believe uh, that God rose from the dead on the third day, um, and as the old Baptist this preacher would say early in the morning. Um, I bless the name of God. Um, the upgrade is there. Um, and that's only the beginning of the upgrade. Um, salvation is only the beginning of the upgrade. Um, there's still several more upgrades. Um, because after you come through salvation, um, then you got to seek for the Holy Ghost. Um, hallelujah, which is your keeping power. Um, which is your delivering power. Um, you got to seek for the Holy Ghost. Um, you got to be baptized uh, with the Holy Ghost, um, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Um, that's upgrade number two. Um, then you got it from the upgrade number two. Um, you got to seek his face. Um, for the Bible says if you draw nigh to God, um, he'll draw nigh to you. Um, the problem with some folk uh, and they're missing their upgrade um, is because they have not drawn nigh to God. Um, they have not drawn nigh to God. Um, they don't pray like they used to pray. Um, they don't hit the floor like they used to hit the floor. But it's time now in the season that we're living in. God is trying to tell the church world. It's time for an upgrade. It's time for an increase in your faith. It's time to come up another level. It's time to climb the ladder. I'm trying to get you to a place where you're self-sufficient in me. Oh, bless the name of God. Ah, hallelujah. Do, do you have the upgrade? 
Are you willing to take the upgrade? God is offering you an upgrade. God is offering you an upgrade. He wants to take you to another level. And all it takes tonight is to accept him as your personal savior. All it takes tonight is to give your heart to him. It's not about shaking my hand. It's not about writing your name on the book. But it's about turning your life around and giving your heart to him. Giving your life over to him and saying, God, here I am, God. Take me as I am, God. Here I am, God. I'm a rich undone. I'm just a sinner, God. Forgive me of my sins, God. Cleanse me of my sins, God. Make me in right standing with you, God. Here I am, God. I make you Lord of my life. God, I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. Do you need an upgrade tonight? Do you need an upgrade tonight? Oh, bless the name of God. Do you need an upgrade tonight? I'm here to let you know that God is faithful to his word. God is faithful to his word. And all it takes for you is to use your faith. Unlock your faith. Trust God tonight. He wants to upgrade you. You watching me right now. I told you I felt a strange anointing. He wants to, you that are watching me, I don't know who you are, but you've been going through something over the last couple of months that this pandemic has been at its maximum. I hear the Lord say, I want to upgrade you. All I'm doing is I want to upgrade you. You're still rolling and rocking on the old, on the old software. But I want to upgrade your software. I want to upgrade your faith. Hallelujah. I want to upgrade your faith. Ah, oh, bless the name of God. I want to upgrade your software, which is your faith. I want to upgrade your faith. I want to build your faith. Oh, bless the name of God. You need an upgrade. You've been walking around broke, busted, and disgusted. But I'm here to tell you right now, God wants to upgrade you to that place of poverty, to that place of prosperity, and bring you out of that place of poverty. Oh, bless the name of God. Are you ready for the upgrade? Are you willing to accept God's upgrade? He's waiting to upgrade you. Hallelujah. He's waiting to upgrade you. You've been waiting on a blessing, and it seems like it just won't come. Our clouds will hang low. Sky is dark. Seems like the sun won't shine. But the devil is a liar and a deceiver too. God is not through blessing you. Are you ready for an upgrade? Do you need an upgrade? All you have to do is use your faith. Put your faith to work. Put your faith to work. Put your faith to work and let God upgrade you the right way. Let God upgrade you the right way. Uh, come off an automatic upgrade. Uh, come off that automatic upgrade. Get off that instant potatoes. Get off that microwave faith. Uh, and get on your knees. And cry aloud to the Lord. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all been there, done that. Uh, hallelujah. On that altar. All night long. Crying out, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mother on right. Mother on left. Mother on back. When you got up, your back was sore. Your arms were sore. But you got the breakthrough. That's what I'm talking about. Get back down on your knees and cry out to God. Lord, I need, a, I need an upgrade. I'm tired of living where I am. I'm tired of being in the same place I was in 2019. I'm still in that same place because you need an upgrade. Mm. I'm halfway through 2020 and I'm still where I was in 2019 because you need an upgrade. Hallelujah. You need to be upgraded. And all it takes is your faith. All it takes is your faith. All it takes is your faith. Will you be upgraded? Will you be upgraded? Will you be upgraded? Hallelujah. Will you be upgraded? Hallelujah. upgraded? Will you come to Christ and give him your life? He's standing there waiting on you. 
It's not too late, my brother, my sister. It's not too late to give your life to Christ. It's not too late to say, Lord, I surrender. I give it all to you. I trust you. I need you. I need an upgrade. I'm tired of being where I am. I want to get to the next level. If you want to be upgraded tonight, come a little closer and pray with me right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner. I confess my sins right now. Forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Make me a new creature. I accept your son Jesus as my personal savior. Huh? Glory to God. I give him my life. I give him my heart. And I give him my soul. I'm yours, Lord. Everything I am, everything I'm not. I'm yours. Now, if you prayed that prayer for the first time. Hallelujah. You prayed that prayer for the first time. I want you to Write me at my email address. Wings of an Eagle Worship Hour. Gmail.com. Wings of an Eagle Worship Hour. Gmail.com. Write me there. Hallelujah. And let me know. Accept Christ as your personal Savior. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to write me there and let me know that you accepted Christ as your personal Savior. I want you to write me at my email address and let me know that you've accepted Christ. God bless you, Brother Rob Scott. Hallelujah. And let me know that you've accepted Christ as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. Wings of the Eagle Worship Hour. Outlook.com. Glory be to God. I told you in the beginning there was a strange anointing on me. And I don't know who's viewing tonight, but you seem like you've been hitting it for quite a, for a, for a minute now, as the, as the kids would say, for a minute now. You've been going through something. And it seems like there's no light at the tunnel. I hear the Holy Ghost say, your breakthrough, your early morning hour, is right at the door. All you need to do is walk through the door. You're standing at the door. Walk through it. Because on the other side of that threshold, I hear the Holy Ghost say, is your victory. Is your upgrade. Is your victory. <laughs> is your victory. Hallelujah. That's the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you tonight. I tell you, I feel an anointing. Glory to God. I feel my Savior. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you tonight. We give you glory tonight. We give you glory tonight. Thank you, Lord. We thank you tonight. We 
thank you tonight. I hear the word healing. I hear the word healing. I hear the Lord say healing. I hear God say, if you'll just praise me. If you just lift your hands right now where you are. If you're driving, pull over. I hear God say, if you'll just lift your hands right where you are. Healing. Healing. Will take place. Healing will take place. Mm. Healing will take place. The healing will begin. The healing, I hear the Holy Ghost say, the healing is in your praise. The healing is in your praise. You have the key that unlocks the door to your healing. It's in your praise. It's in your genuine praise. Don't give God a half praise. Give him a genuine praise. Healing is in your praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. 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 Praise the Lord. We thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for Brother Robert Scott. Amen. My friend, my brother, the grandson of a great man of God, my spiritual father, Elder Joe, Pastor Joe Scott Jr., the late Pastor Joe Scott Jr., the one and only Faith Temple Church of God in Christ in the city of Hackensack. Thank God for Elder for Brother Robert Scott, and thank God for my supporter. Amen. That souls into this ministry as the Lord leads her. Our sister Joyce Ellis, we thank God for her. If you desire to sow into this ministry, if you desire to sow into my life, the Cash App is there. Money sign in J Bishop D. And y'all know I don't, I put it up when the Lord tells me, I don't beg, I don't plead. That's not what the God called me to do. God called me to preach. God called me to encourage the saints of God. And I believe that if, the, if you encourage the saints, if you preach to the saints and you encourage them and you, you bless them, they will bless you. But the cash app was there. And I want to give you the opportunity if you want to sow. Now, no, no, you don't have to. But if you want to sow into this ministry or into my life, the cash app is there. Money sign NJ Bishop D. And that's going to be changing soon. Money sign NJ Bishop D. So into my cash app. Amen. I will pray over your gift and we'll thank God for you that will, that will and can give. We thank God for Elder Tracy Beeman. Amen. My first my first assistant in this ministry. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. All the way. Amen. From out west. Pray that all is well in his area out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Praise God that all is well out there where he is. Amen. And that he's that we're praying for Lady Beeman. We have, we have her in our prayers here at the Wings of the Eagle Christian Fellowship Ministries. Amen. We thank God for our Elder Tracy Beeman. We praise God for everyone that is viewing tonight. Amen. We thank God for our, first, our chief apostle, our first assistant. I know he was in. We thank God for Elder Designate Henry John Henry Stone Jr. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our first assistant. I mean, I'm not our first sister. We thank God for Elder Desmond Henry Stone Jr. We thank God for Elder and Mrs. McCaskill, my friend and my brother. Amen. We thank God for him. And we bless God for each and every one tonight. Each and every one tonight. I don't, let me see what else is on. Amen. Thank God for Sister Tiana, Tawana Ross. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. Our first assistant, Don Del Pelfield, Sister Nicole. Amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for everybody that's on tonight. Listen, share this message. When I go off, share the message. Somebody may need to hear. Somebody may need an upgrade and don't know how to get it. Amen. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight is our prayer. We love you dearly. I'm Apostle Desmond Darrell Towns. Thank God for each and every one of you. Join us Thursday. 
right here at Facebook Live for our clarion prayer call. I'm telling you, God is blessing. And don't forget, keep your eye on my page. If you are, if you are a friend of mine, if you're a friend of mine, and you can see, and you can see what I post, keep your eye on my page. Because coming real soon, I'm going to be teaching and uh, talking about what does the bylaw say. If you are a preacher, you are an upcoming pastor, you got a heart to desire to pastor, you are an apostle, prophet, bishop, whatever your title is, minister, evangelist, you need to be on that line. What does the bylaws say? I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm exciting my own self. Just, 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 just praying over it and, and, and getting the information that God is imparting into my spirit. Amen. You need to join me on that line. It's coming real soon. It's coming real soon. Most likely in the month of July. In the month of July. So probably probably the, not this week, but probably next week. I'm telling you, y'all better y'all need to be in on that line. What does the bylaw say? Amen. We're gonna, we gonna deal with that. We're gonna talk about some things in that line. In that line. Amen. And if the Lord says so, we may even make that live available, amen, on, on DVD, if the Lord says so. We will, we're praying about some things. We can only do this with the contributions and the donations of our, our supporters and those that believe in this ministry and that, that are with me. We can only do these things, amen, as you give to help us to pray the cost, amen. But if the Lord tells me I'm going to do what I have to do, but, we, we, but to get to the next level, we need your help. We need you to, to be a blessing to, to us and to be a blessing to this ministry. Amen. And do what the Lord has called you to do. And what he has put on your heart to do. The cash app is there. The cash app is posted. Money sign NJ Bishop.
Well, praise the Lord. Thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to leave your dear hearts. I'm Apostle Desmond McDowell Towns, visionary founder of Wings of Youth Christian Fellowship Ministries. We praise God for you, Victoria International Fellowship. We praise God for you joining us. We thank God for you joining us. Don't forget convocations coming up. Don't forget Thursday meet us right here, 7 30 p.m. for our clarion prayer call. Don't forget to join us on our on our live. What does the bylaw say? Amen. We get, we're going to be doing that in the next month. Next month we're going to be doing what does the bylaw say? Most likely it may take place on a Friday night. It may take place on a Saturday. I'm not sure yet. But we want you to join us. We love you as our prayer. Thank you so much, uh, Elder Tracy Beeman, my brother, my friend. Thank you for your support tonight. Apostle, really, truly appreciate your support. Amen. Amen. We got to make vocal contact real soon. Amen. We got to call. On. I got to give you a call real soon. Elder McCaskill, thank you so much. See you tomorrow morning. Amen. God, yes, tomorrow morning. Monday morning, yes. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. My supporter. My supporter, thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Joyce, for joining us. Appreciate you. Listen, don't forget, I need you to visit tonsmart.com. If you need masks, or whatever you're looking for, visit Tonsmart. T like Tom, O N Z M A R T dot com. He has masks. I posted it. He has he has masks that you can purchase. I believe it's twenty dollars for fifty. Visit Tonsmart.com. That is one of my supporters. He is one of the ones that sold into this ministry on a monthly basis. Amen. Visit his site. Purchase something from him. I'm telling you, I have purchased several things from him, and I am extremely pleased. Visit his site. Amen. I don't have it in here. Amen. But, amen. Go to uh, Fine Art America. Fine Art America. Preachers, there are masks there for you. Those that preachers mask are there. Um, I have told it before. I don't have them in front of me tonight. Preach this mask that we can purchase from our Bishop Miller. Amen. Patronize our brothers and our sisters. And let them know that you love them. Be a blessing to them. Purchase something from them. Let them know that you love them. Find Art America. Go there. Amen. And you'll be able to purchase masks. She has a beautiful uh, mask for ministers. Amen. You can buy the, 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 the art. The, uh, uh, art. If you're like me, and after I'm going to purchase something, you all you'll see it on, as my background. Amen. But she has some beautiful work there. Go there. I tell you, Bishop Miller will be a blessing to you at Fine Art America. Don't forget Tonsmart, my main supporter, Tonsmart.com. T like Tom, O N Z M A R T. Dot com. Go there and purchase something. He has masks, he has, he has a, a summer slip ons, watches. He has a bunch of things that you can purchase, and I declare you'll be blessed and you will be satisfied. We love you tonight. We love you tonight. God bless you. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Remember, don't drown. Don't sing. Tie a knot in the end of the rope. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because your help is already on the way. And his name is Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Now his swamp and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.